Hi, my name is Brian Wood. I'm a web developer for years, and I've been working with Dreamweaver for quite a long, a long time. And what I want to do today is I want to show you guys an extension made by a company called DMXZone.com that's called HTML5 Image Enhancer. This is an extension for Dreamweaver that you guys can get. Now, take a look out here. I've got a page set up with one of, a simple example of the uh, what you can do with this extension, rather. On the left side is an image that's been jazzed up a little bit, and on the right is just a typical image. Now notice some of the things that we can do with this extension. We can change borders, we can put rounded corners, we can do drop shadows, we can have text appear or fade away, and we can also put reflections, and there's tons of other stuff we can do with this, you guys. Now the site DMX Zone is an excellent source for all things web development. So you guys can get this extension, there's ebooks, forums, tons of free stuff. But I want to focus on just showing you this one extension. So let me go over to Dreamweaver, and I've got the page open here that I have it on. And to do this, you get the extension, you download it, you install it. It's really quick and simple to do. I then can either click on an image on my page or a page you're starting out, or you can have it put the image on the page for you. If I come to the insert panel over here, I'll see that we have the DMX zone category, and we can choose HTML5 image enhancer. We can also use the insert menu. And you guys will see the image enhancer dialog box show. Now, there's a lot to look at, I know, but it boils down to a couple things here. What's cool? I mean, <laughs> there's tons of stuff we can do. We can apply this image enhancement to a single image. We can also apply it to what's called a global selector. So if we had that image selected, let's say, I could say single image, or if we had a series of images, let's say we want to create a gallery with a bunch of different uh, images out there, instead of applying it to each one separately, you can say global selector, you can then assign a selector. You guys will make a class in Dreamweaver. You'll then assign it to an image or multiple images, and you'll say that the class here is right there. This is what it's called. It's called class. We'll then go about our business and apply it that way. Now, the way we're going to do it, you guys, we're going to actually use the single image here. So I'll choose single image. Now, I said we can put a name on this if we want to. I'll call this Spain. These are my Spain uh, image enhancements. It's going to assign it to this image called Spain. We could browse for an image. We can assign a link to it if we want to, linking to different websites or linking to a page in our site. I'll actually put a link to uh, DMX Zone here. Once we put the link on there, what we can then do is we can change the width, the height, the target, typical things for a link. And a lot of times when you work with these DMX Zone extensions, you'll see these little lightning bolts. These are called dynamic data you can add, which is really awesome. You'll also see we can add or edit other behaviors. Now, I'm jumping the gun here a little bit, but if I click on Add Edit Behaviors, it allows you to work with other behaviors. This is called the Behavior Connector. And suppose you guys had another extension like the HTML5 Slideshow. That's one of my favorites. You could add this to it. So you can combine different extensions together, which is really great. I'll click Cancel. We can align it. And the big thing here is we're going to come down here and add effects. So the different effects. We've got a border. We've got corner radius. We've got reflection. We've got shadow, and we've got series of filters we can apply. Now, I'm going to assign a border here, and there's a lot of things we can do, you guys. It, one thing I want you to notice with these kinds of extensions from DMX Zone, as you start to work through here, you'll notice down here there's a little question mark. It's going to help you along, tell you what you're trying to do here. So I need to enter a border size. We can change the color. I can change the opacity value. And this is a great feature, too. If I click in opacity, for instance, that field, it tells you enter a factor from 0 to 1. So we can enter a factor of opacity, like let's say 0.25 or 0.2 or something like that. Position on the inside, the outside. We can assign a gradient color to that border as well. Linear, radial, colors going from top to bottom, however we want to start. We can assign a corner radius, which is pretty cool. So I'll assign a corner radius of let's say 5. The bigger the number, the bigger the corner radius. We can also split it up so only the top does and the bottom doesn't. We can add a reflection, height. Distance opacity for those. You can try all sorts of things, you guys. We can assign a shadow, but I think that's probably going to look a little bit too much, so I'll leave that off. And we can assign filters. So let's suppose you guys want to have the image blurred to start with, and when somebody hovers over it, it doesn't blur anymore, so it's unblurred. You can do that. So once we set up our general settings, we can then go to the Advanced tab up here. And if I click on Advanced, it's going to do a bunch of things for us, really great things. First of all, you guys can assign text to the image like you guys saw earlier. So if I hover over the image, it can show, or we can tell it to always show. If you don't want any text, you just delete it. What's really cool about this is this picked up from my alternate text on the image in Dreamweaver. 
So I'll change this a little bit. I'll say, uh, let's say a Spanish tile work vacation. Who wouldn't want to take that? We can position it on top or bottom. We can change the opacity here. Once again, zero and one between those two. Change the color of the background. I'm going to put, let's say, black. Change the speed if we want to. You can go with the slower or faster. You can change the font. A lot of typicals right down here. Color, size, etc. And alignment. And once again, I can see a little uh, lightning bolt right there, which means choose dynamic data as well. We can change then the effects. So if somebody hovers over this image, we can tell it, you know what? I want the border color to change or the opacity to change. So let's change the border color to, let's say, I don't know, blue. That's going to look great. We can change the opacity and once again, help me out. If I put my cursor in a field down here from 0 to 1. If we had a gradient assigned, which we do, we can go in and start to change the colors. We can flop them. We can switch them, all sorts of different things. So I can change start color is, you know, that color. Bottom color is green. We can set the transition amount. That literally means how fast the text is going to appear. We can change the shadow if we had a shadow, or we can apply a shadow if we didn't if we didn't have one before, which we didn't. And we can assign filters, so we can have it invert, you know, grayscale, all sorts of different things. You guys, you got, you got to just try these. There's tons of stuff to mess around with. You'll be in here for hours. Now the other thing is the about tab. If I click on the about tab, you'll see a lot of the other extensions we can use, which is really great to use some of them in uh, conjunction with the image enhancer. All right, I'll click OK. Gets it out there. Once you guys save the file, it's going to show you the different related files that are necessary, a couple JavaScript files to get this to work. Don't forget, this is jQuery. It uses CSS and HTML5 W3C standard elements like Canvas. Uh, let me save it, and I'll go take a look at it in a browser. So I've got the Firefox here. Take a look at it, and you guys can see my changes. Now, I can go back, and let's say I look at this, and I'm like, you know what? That does not look good at all. I want to change the color of the text. I want to change the color of this. I want to change the border, etc. So I'll go back, close my browser up. When you click on one of the images here that has it applied, you'll see down here in the property inspector that we can change a lot of the features right here. The actual image, all you got to do is you guys can swap out the image right here. You can change the link here. Alignments. If you want to, we can also go back to the dialog box by clicking Edit Advanced. If I click on that, you can take me back in. And we can start to change things up. So this is where you guys can just play. Just go in and try different things. There's tons of things you can do. I love this. Uh, and this works in most all major browsers. The great thing about it is it actually, even for Internet Explorer, it has what's called fallback mode. So it's backwards compatible. It uses Flash to do that. In all of the browsers, though, you guys, it's using HTML5. It's using CSS. It's using jQuery to get this to work. All right, once I click OK... We've got it set. Now we can apply this, like I said, to multiple images if we want to. We can also use a selector to get that done, like I showed you guys in the dialog box. But this is working with the HTML5 Image Enhancer extension. And let me go out to a browser one more time to show you this. Just think of the possibilities, you guys. I mean, there's tons of stuff you can do with this. I get questions from students all the time because I'm also a teacher, I'm an instructor, and they're always asking me, how can I add those cool shadows, those cool corners, things like that. Well, if you guys install this extension, you've got it. So, anyway, once again, my name is Brian Wood. You guys should check out this uh, extension on dmxzone.com. It's a great feature, something great to work with in Dreamweaver to add some awesome features to your images.